The plan today was to find this beautiful guy. But instead, this happened. And yep, there goes our popcorn. Hi, I'm Ella, and this is my brother Charlie, and the tip of Africa is our playground. Welcome to our crazy adventures. How are you feeling, Ella? It's such a great day, and we're going to get back into the ocean, so I'm feeling quite good today. Charlie, do you want to see a shark today? Do you miss me at all? The hammer shark. The hammer shark? Is that your favourite? Uh -huh. What does it look like? It has a hammer on it. So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air Do you miss me at Look over there behind you. Can you see those boats there? Yeah. That's where the slipway is. That's where the boats launch. Now right there, there are massive short-tailed stingrays that live there. Should we go try and find them? Massive. Huge. Oh my god. Let's go find them. You see this sign? We probably should have paid more attention to it, as you'll see later. False Bay was looking stunning, but the southeasterly wind was predicted to pick up later in the morning, so we had to get a move on. You see that big boulder right over there? In front of it, there's a big strip of water and then massive stingrays there, and we're going to see if we're going to try to find them. You excited to be back in your wet seat? Yeah, I haven't been in it quite a long time. What are you guys doing? Well, this is not a normal wetsuit. This is a free diving wetsuit and it's made of like some sort of sponge. I'm not sure what rubber. type of sponge. You rubber. And it's like impossible to get in it without. The rubber sticks to your skin. So it's impossible to put the wetsuit on unless you've got the slippy stuff on. Yes. This makes it just slip in it to it so much easier. stingrays are actually in the boat ramp where they feed on fish thrown overboard from the returning boats. But no luck this time. After a long hot walk, I was more than ready to get into the refreshing ocean.
awesome dive, but unfortunately, no stingrays this time. But we'll definitely be back to find these beauties soon. Remember this sign? Well, this massive baboon walked straight past me as I was taking off my booties and helped himself to our popcorn. Much to the horror of Charlie. Baboons are no joke. Check the teeth on them. Unfortunately, they can become pests, especially after they've been fed by naughty tourists who don't follow the rules. And they then learn to associate people with food. It is close, but he's watching because he knows there's stuff in here. You see this biscuit my mum is holding? He's going to keep coming back. That's what they're after. Luckily, my dad was brave enough to scare them away with his big flippers. But they didn't go far. The baboons are all attacking our food. And Look! They are pretty interesting animals. Are you going to go still, buddy? Good job. Oh, it's cool. Hear the dice? Oh, let's see how my foot. Are you okay, Dad? No, oh, get it off. Hey, buddy. <laughs> As you can see, the southeasterly wind has picked up, so it's cut our dive short. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful dive, the crazy baboons, and I'll catch you on my next adventure.